Now, why don't we do this? Because we're already on the C, it's logical, is why don't you jump up an octave and do the upper octave, okay? So, for reference, now we're going to go up to the 7, right? And if you look on your charts, which is downloadable, by the way, you'll see. You'll have some of my favorite uh, temperament uh, recipes on there, so, so, don't, so don't stress out. Again, the main point of this heart check study is to show you the possibilities of having a tool that will improve your tuning. So, I'm going to move up. And I'm going to pull out seven. Well, that, sounds, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> well, no wonder. Did you see that? See? We're spot on. That's why you didn't hear any beats on that upper octave. Okay, I like that. I'm satisfied with that. Now I'm going to pull out 10, right? Because that's our last octave. And we have 7 C, 10 C. And, and again, if I didn't mention this, uh, I am using a C harmonica for our demonstration here. Ooh, okay, that one you can definitely hear the beat. I hope you saw that because I was like, I was ready to pass out. Okay, but it was around 11 cents flat. Okay, see what I mean? So let's go ahead and, and, and very carefully, because I'm still going to use the, the file, the jeweler's file. I may want to use the, I don't know, I can't choose. Let's see. Oh, this is interesting too. And again, this was right out of the box. So this is, this is a brand new harmonica. And then when you look at a brand new harmonica, you can see the scribe lines, you can see the chisel marks, it, it, you know. So you can tell, even on the factory floor, they thought this one was a little bit too flat, because I can see they were sharpening it. And do you see why the pins are so narrow, wonderfully narrow, so you can just get your tool right in there? Fabulous. Okay, now I'm getting dangerously close to the zero, so I'm going to pull out the ceramic, kind of fine-tune it. And uh, a technique that you may have forgotten, when you want to do your fine-tuning, get closer to the middle of the reed than the extremes of the reed. Another thing you're going to find also, and, and it's because of the situation in the studio here, isolating the higher pitch reads sometimes can be challenging. You can see it bouncing around.
Okay, I'm there. So now I'm going to check the full octave. 10, 7, 4, and Y. Ooh, nice, nice. Okay. All right, so rather than do the, the entire uh, instrument, again, when you download the chart, you'll be able to see where those octaves live on your harmonica. So the next step, I would take my five and go backwards, I do the two, right? That, that would be my E, middle E, and lower E.